about the inner ding, which yeah. just to clarify, define what you mean when you say inner ding. Yeah, I think you know, inner ding, I got that term from Louise Hay way back from the 80s. And, uh, you know, it's basically that voice inside you. And I think if you really, when I, I felt the inner ding. It's like, I just figure it's my God voice, you know, or my universe voice, something that wants better for me at all times, even if I didn't believe in, you know, myself at times, even if I um, didn't see opportunity or possibility, somebody, God, whomever saw something in me. And I think that, um, and they're just always whispering to you or maybe shouting at you to make a change. But I think once I started asking, I think the sign started showing up. I just had to ask. So it's just opening up to that inner voice and just being receptive to what you hear. And I think you have to access it like quieter times, you know, like I know like before I go to bed, if I was meditating or in the shower, getting ready for work or in the car on the way to work, I would not listen to any music sometimes. And I'd be like, okay, universe, what is it that you want me to know? You know, and then, you know, I didn't have to really do much. Then all of a sudden, you know, and people say this all the time when I listen to other people's big life change stories, they always say, and out of the blue, you know, or you won't believe this, but, Mm -hmm. you know, and that's kind of what happened. Something just happened out of the blue where they had an opening and I applied. It was just that easy if I was willing to be led. (laughs) 